on a bifurcation of nature, which separated the world into two distinct metaphysical realms, that of mind and that of matter. But it was another philosopher who would see most clearly the problems which were developing from this modernist post-Cartesian paradigm and codified many of the conceptual elements that would come to characterize modern thought for centuries to come. That philosopher was Emmanuel Kant. During the day with Q, Kant would come to see the true extent of the implications wrought by the Marxist systematic skepticism. If we cannot be certain that our experiences of the world actually coincide with a world beyond our perceptions, then how can we justify any of our empirical claims about the world at all? How do we know that any of our scientific claims actually have any objective validity? Kant saw that such knowledge about the world would require more than empirical observation. We can observe that the sun has risen every day up until now, but we cannot simply observe a law which demands such regularity. We must infer such laws, and thus empirical observation alone is not enough to actually ground scientific knowledge. Nor can we say that the constancy of the sun's behavior is dictated by logic, as Kant understood logical truths to apply only to relations of ideas rather than facts about the natural world. 